We're in Banya de Romagna today, 161 kilometers from the start in Firenze. A lumpy old day after a very, very quick uh, flat section. Nothing but up or down, with climbing or descending for much of today's run. He is very determined, Michel. He looked like he was suffering on the first climb of the day. Seems like his legs have come around now. They've just crested this one, uh, which is a third category, so fairly first over the top again. Uh, he adds a further seven points to his talent. I have been gradually adding them up over the course of the day. Uh, he now sits on 29, which puts him up into provisional third place overall in the climbers' classification. And that is a sad sight. That's TJ Van Garderen. And the, uh, oh sound you, the sound you heard was a pop, I'm afraid. Yeah. Freya says, uh, thanks very much, and backs out of the pair up front. And Lander is about to be caught as well there. Oh, here we go, Rui Costa putting a really big dig here now. And it doesn't look like anybody, barring Lawrence de Plus, is able to go with it. What a ride from de Plus, just 21 years of age. Here we are, and it is Pierre Roland, uh, just bedding in with de Plus. Oh, and in fact, here we are with Nibali, Nibali calling for action. And this is fantastic, just what the race needed. He did a great time trial yesterday, and Nibali calls for action. Pino stays on his wheel, and Quintana also joins the front. Answering the question at the moment is Pierre Roland, who pushes on. Now, he's got a lot to hold on for here. He needs a proper gap by the time he gets to the top, and he's got some uh, proper incline that will come his way. He hasn't given up the ghost just yet at all. He might even take this mountain test. Pierre Roland can't believe he's there. He wants the points, Freya. He's going to come round on the inside. Don't touch wheels, for goodness sake. Freya, if he manages to pick up first place here on the second category climb, will be equal to Polank. That's on what the he climbers wants, jersey. I think might well let him have it because he knows he can follow him down. So Freire, 75 metres to go. Don't forget, uh, Pierre Rollins thinking about that jersey as well, but he won't be worried about that. Now it's Freire going to push on. Quintana's doing it for himself right now. And here goes Pino. He's decided to attack. He goes off. And what's the response? Dibley is the nearest man to him. Then comes Quintana and then comes Dumoulin. This is where Roland should take over. Uh, he, he, driven into this one. In fact, he's saying, come on, this is your terrain. I've uh, extended the gap, now we're losing it because you're leaning on me. Back to 20 seconds when Roland picks up the battle and decides to go for it. Here we go, you've got to pick it up. You've got to be brave on a day like this and regathering themselves and Rui Costa as well as uh, Patilli are not finished yet today. My goodness, they've been working hard as a pair. But it's uh, Costa that pushes on. Rui Costa is not going to come to the front and help out at all here. He'll ride this advantage. And there is Freya. I think he's going to have to do this on his own and take a gamble of guiding Costa closer to the line. He looks with disdain at uh, Pierre Roland, who centres into the road right now. Kangat's bridging over to him. Um, now Kangat has got no sprint on him, but he's going to find these guys and then push on. Flamrouge beckoning. Here oh, he goes. He's, he's going to go long. He's got no other option. He's not as fast as these boys. And there he goes. He grinds it in. Pierre Roland says, Bonjour. 400 metres to go, and here they come. Visconti's on their case. Visconti's the faster man in the red here, and they're all going to get, I'm afraid, caught to the line. 3.50 to go. Suddenly can't get, picks it up. Roland tries to stay with him. Rui Costa's there. Rapidly approaching comes Visconti, and now Freya goes. Freya's got to go. Freya at the edges, frying everybody. Is he going to bring it home? He's going to do this. This is going to be one heck of a win. This is unbelievable. Freya fries everybody. He's going to take the biggest win of his career. Oh, magnificent! Chapeau to that man! All credit to him! They'll be punching the air back at Dimension Data! That was the best stage of this race so far, and the best man took it! Freyer takes it ahead to Costa Roland, can get. They were the quartet. Conti did lead home the rest with Hermans, Cataldo, Patilli, Montfort and Lawrence de Plus, but Freyer fried everyone today. Tom de Milan then leads overall by a margin of 2 minutes and 23 for Quintana, Bocamolo in third. Pino, Nibali, Amador, Bob Jongles, Kangert still in the frame. Listen, 4 minutes down, Pozzavivo and Zacharin 
We've got a race on our hands down. The top five can all still win this.